I just got back from work. It was a okay night. It wasn't the best night. I got sent to another unit. I had to work outside of my comfort zone, but we made it through the night. We're here and it's only eight in the morning. I left for work at 6 p.m. Yes, anyways, uh, we're back. We're checking out this new game here. I don't even know the name of it as like off the top of my head because our friend Ray told us to play this game. It is called Anime Punch Simulator. And there's a lot of people playing the game and a lot of you guys have been telling me to actually go check it out. So I went ahead and checked it out. So let's go ahead and see what Anime Punch Simulator is like. I've been AFKing the entire night. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I've learned and everything that I've done to get strong. Obviously, pay to win the number one, but uh, uh intro because i don't know my brain this isn't working anymore guys i'm tired i'm tired get me to a million subscribers so i don't have to do this anymore <laughs> all right intro you know when i first saw this game i was very skeptical Yes, I was very skeptical because I saw, oh, you click and you attack or you punch and you get energy. When you get your energy, you rank up. When you rank up or you get pets and so on and so forth. And I was like, I don't know. Those games are kind of old. They're outdated. Whoa, what did I just do? Those games are kind of old. They're outdated. I honestly don't even want to like play them anymore because they're so different. But Ray told me to play this game. I saw a lot of my friends playing the game, and I realized that I was wrong. I realized that this game is actually quite decent, and you guys are going to see what I mean when I say quite decent. Now, of course, before I start doing anything else in the game here, you guys are going to want the codes, and guys, there are a lot of codes. When I say a lot of codes, I mean there's over 15 codes, so I'm going to try to go as quickly as I can here through all the codes. If you uh, already have the codes you can see it but here's 25k likes being the first code that one's working update 2.5 is another code so update 2.5 i think i might do that if i typed it bugs fixed is another code so bugs fixed there you go next code is update 2 enter that one right there uh release is another code there we go update or code 500 likes 500 likes nice 1k likes, which is pretty crazy that they did a 1k 500 likes, whatever. Uh, 5k likes, just like that. And then we got ourselves mini update. Mini update thing, another code. Next code we got over here is 10k likes. Guys, if you want to see what I'm actually writing and it's going too fast, just slow down the video or something. Or rewatch it and then watch it again so that you can support Toad. 15k likes being another code. Sorry, shut please or with an s not a z sorry shut please there you go another code um sorry for shutdown is another code guys there are so many codes in this game update one it's another one update 1.5 and then finally 20k likes those are all the codes that i know guys i know that was like a whole minute and a half of like non-stop rapid fire codes there yeah there's a lot of codes, and I'll go ahead and probably put them in the description or something so you guys can see them. But this game isn't, like, like I said, it's a standard clicking game. You click, you go over here, you attack the mobs, and you want to attack the mob, they die, and they'll give you gems, and they'll give you energy as you attack them. So, Toad, what did you do to get as strong as you are? Because I literally just started playing this game yesterday, guys. Like, before I went to work. Now, of course, I've been at work overnight, so I've been AFKing for the last 14 hours. But I'll show you what I did. So first things first, attack a couple of these mobs right here. Use all those codes. Get yourself some free stuff. Over here, you're going to get a chest. You're going to get yourself a legendary chest. Open that chest. Get whatever this thing gives you, okay? Cool. Next, once you attack a few mobs, you're going to go here and open the egg. I have auto-delete on because I kind of don't need these. But you're going to open the eggs. Try to get the unit you want. You got a unit, then you're going to go over here to the avatar section. So that's what makes this game pretty interesting. They have a whole avatar section. They're going to boost your multiplier on your energy earnings. So go over here. Naron's the current skin that I have. Obviously, it's not even that good. I've got so many more characters to go through. It's kind of kind of scary how far behind I am. But he gives me a 2300 multiplier. There's an achievement section. There's, there's literally so much here to do. There's an achievement section, look at this. I got all of these rewards here that I can claim. I can claim this one, defeat a thousand enemies for two times damage. Raid two, reach 20 rooms, there we go. Easy, 
time. Play for 16 minutes, give me two times energies. Plays for six hours, give me more energies as well. And then if I, if I play for another 24 hours, I get another two times energy. But yes, you're gonna claim your achievements over here. Next, what's really important is that you can either A, rank up, which I'm not gonna do right now because I gotta do some other things first, or B, you go over here to the Wano boss. Guys, this Wano boss actually drops these two things right there that you guys can't see because it's all white, but the weapon and the ability. You go to your inventory, you go to weapons, you see that? Mom's sword is actually the best weapon that I have. It's gonna multiply my damage by 16. And then we go to abilities over here. The Great Storm is gonna give me six times more energy as opposed to Cursed Snake, we're gonna be six times more damage. So there's actually a lot of things to do in this game that uh, will help you guys get a ton of boost and whatnot. But Great Mom has 2.5 million. She has a chance to drop her items. As you guys can see, I got it on the first drop, of course, on the fairly decently strong, but look at that. We just attacked Mom this time, and she did not drop anything. So once you get your amulets, you're gonna equip it over here. Once you get your items, you're gonna equip it over here. And then of course your pets, you're gonna equip your best pets whenever you're playing. Now, uh, Toad, uh, you did that, now what do you do? Well, you go unlock New World. It, it's kind of simple, but you go back to the Leaf City where you start off at, right? We're actually already here. You're gonna go all the way to the back. If you guys uh, go to settings, you can put auto fly on so you can move around a little bit quicker, but you're gonna go all the way to the back and you're gonna unlock the zones right here. You wanna, sh you wanna unlock this area? Yes, and what you'll do immediately once you get here is go to the egg. If you can open up an egg, that'll be great. Try to get yourself at least one or two of the pets. It's gonna help you guys do a big amount of damage. So keep doing that through every world, but of course go through every zone and see what there is to get. This one specifically, I wouldn't necessarily like spend on just quite yet. Hold on to those cards. And there's also a shining machine here. I really don't know how the shining machine is gonna work. Convert for two times of these? Uh, sure, convert. Oh my gosh, you can't convert an equip pet. Okay, that scared me, I thought it failed. But uh, don't do that yet, I don't. I haven't even done that myself. You're gonna run through the stages, you're gonna do this thing right here, the raid. It's gonna give you guys a ton of gems, a ton of energy, you know, that are to the ingredients, pop the Russo kind of stuff, and it'll help you guys progress through the game. Then what you'll keep doing is just going and going and going. Each world has their own things that'll help you. And you guys look at the index. This is the water mark. This is the best mark that I could have gotten. I'll get three times energy. How do you get these things? You get them from doing raids, guys. There's dungeons that'll give you stuff as well. Look at that. The dungeons will drop chests right here as a final reward, which is pretty good. That is world three. We'll keep going. We'll keep progressing. What's over here at world number four? There's a raid boss over there that'll randomly spawn every world. Uh, we'll spawn a random raid boss. So raid four, Curse Academy, will give you guys this new thing, the Curse Machine, which of course is gonna be like the other things. I'll get two times more energy with the Chosi. The Sukuna one would be a little bit better, but two times energy is good enough for me. And then of course, open up an egg over here and move on. So that is the technique that I've been doing before I went to work. And it's basically with all the Rolex stuff that I bought, because I bought every single game pass, because you know, I haven't like splurged on a game like this before in a very long time. So I decided to splurge a little bit. So please like the video and subscribe to Thor Toad for splurging money on a game. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, no, no, literally just getting out of the hostel. Let me let me do a YouTube video. I'll live stream every single day if you guys get me to a ton of subscribers and then views and whatever. Anyways, Dragon City, we have an ascension machine here. In order to ascend, you need energies to evolve. And guys, even after AFK for a ton of time, I don't have enough energy. But that is okay because we have a lot of stuff to get ourselves better. Auras, and look at that, boom. I've got the evolved aura, which is gonna be a 25,000 boost. As you guys can see, I'm getting more per click right there just from doing that. We'll run all the way through this stage. This is the Dragon Ball Z stage. Very, very, very straightforward. That's what you guys have to do here. Attack the bosses, get better pets, and move on to the next world. But once you guys get to this island here, the Czar world, it does start getting a little bit difficult. I'm not gonna lie. I wanna do one of these. Oh, cool, wait. Oh, wow, that's kind of OP. You can literally just buy these super cool potions, super OP. Um, of course, like I said, the codes at the beginning, those codes are insane. Yeah, they'll give you guys some really nice boosts. If you're trying to progress the game really, really quickly, you can use the boosts. I'm probably gonna use them right here in just a second once I get to the world that I've caught up to. 
but I want to get to the Clown Island. After Clown Island, we got the Fruit Machine, which fruits are really good, but I would not summon on this Fruit Machine. There's a better Fruit Machine to summon on. And then there's also a Races Machine. I actually don't even have any of the races. Can I buy any of them? Do I have, like, enough Roblox to buy them? Oh my gosh, they cost 50 Roblox each? Oh my goodness, guys, I'm literally out of Roblox. Hold on. Toad, why are you doing this? Because I want to show you guys and I want to get strong. I want to go ahead and buy five of these fish. Yeah, okay, we'll get five fish. That'll give me, like, two summons. If I need to get one more, I'll get one more. But, okay, okay, give me something good. I got the Fish and then Curse. Okay, that'll give me two times gems. Uh, Fisherman is a 97%. There's Mink and Skypean as well. I'll probably just get Fisherman again. Yeah, okay. So two times gems, whatever. We got that. As you guys can see, there's many, many different things that will help boost your gems and everything. There's an, an invasion ship. I literally have no idea what this is, guys. So I'm going to check it out right here with you guys. Do you want to start the raid? Oh, it's a raid. Okay, so it'll drop different things. Definitely you guys want to do that. I just don't want to do that right now because I got to go to work again tonight. And in order for me to go to work, I got to go to sleep. But I got to finish this video first. But over here, Clover Village. This is where I stopped. I'm at Clover Village because there's this Grinmore thing. And each of their Grinmores are going to give you guys different things, right? So the Wind Grinmore will give me two times energy. I'm looking for the Night Grinmore and I'm looking for two of them. But you're like, Toad, how do you have a thousand of those Grinmore items? Well, as you guys look at my inventory here, I have 1,094 old paper because all you got to do in order to get more old paper is AFK attack the mobs. Look at that. I got a mob right there that dropped one of the old paper. Make that 1,095. And honestly, all I did was AFK this boss at the end right here because uh, he's just going to give you a higher chance of dropping it. So I was AFK on this boss right here. I got a ton of those old papers and really quickly I'm gonna go into a quick time lapse and we're gonna go ahead and try to get myself those dark Grinmores. But uh yeah, time lapse, go! Alright, alright, alright. I can't. I can't sit here right now. We we can't get it. But we got two wind Grinmores you guys can see in right there. They're good enough. You're gonna wanna get the ones that give you energy because more energy is gonna give you guys more damage. More damage is just gonna make you guys a lot stronger. But yeah, I was something there for a lot. As you guys can see, you're gonna need a lot of those tapers to try to get the best one, which the best one's gonna give you guys three times, right? But now we can actually unlock the next island, which is Hunter Island, right? I already got the Narum. And over here we got a defense mode and we got something called criticals which i don't have and then of course passives you will cause a bit more damage okay i'm gonna get five energies here um i'm gonna try to get a better passive than damage two um damage two is nice but of course you want to get uh energy three or light speed what am i gonna get what am i gonna get energy two you will gain a bit more energy ah, i i feel it i feel it i feel like that was a mistake I feel like I should have kept energy too, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, uh, damage one, and then finally for our last roll, we got ourselves energy three! Whoa, we got it, okay, okay. So we got the energy three, guys, 3.6% chance. That is exactly what I wanted to get. That was crazy, okay, okay, okay. Anyways, there's this whole zone right here. You got you, uh, all the numbers are here. Netsero, Nefertitu, uh, Hisoka, we got Neron right here. He has a lot of HP. As you guys can see, it becomes quite difficult for me to kill them even here. And here's Krolo with 375 quintillion. Guys, this is with me AFKing the entire night. So the game does get kind of grindy later on. But Criminal Village is 15 quintillion diamonds. And then what I think, what, oh, the enemies dropped this, by the way. They dropped the cubes, which is interesting because I don't know what the cubes do, but they're probably going to be useful for, like, getting different uh, stuff. We're, oh, we're in the Seven Deadly Sins game. Or island, sorry. I've been playing the Seven Deadly Sins, like, phone game recently, and I've gotten kind of addicted to it, but summon boss? What is this? Do you want to summon boss? No. I want to attack this boss, though. Meliodas? Is he going to die to me? Uh, kind of. Oh, I didn't get any rewards. Okay, can I get Titan City? 200 quintillion wait i can totally unlock all these zones and get better pets what there's even a crafting zone over here i'm not gonna craft anything yet because i want to see if i can unlock that next zone with my 7.4 okay it's 75 sx gems for that okay that is totally fine though because we were able to unlock this area there is a raid boss section over here and then if we look through the map we got the crafting zone but really quickly i want to go back to that last zone before this so we're in titan city there's only two more worlds after this which is exciting the criminal village is going to have a spawner huh 
use ice cube to buy a boss fragment and then there's also an exchange i can exchange the magnet king pass lelouch pet for 2500 gold coins which i'm not gonna lie i have no idea how to get gold coins i have zero it's probably from the raids though but uh yeah oh look at this oh i love this it's hawks it's hawks and there's hawks mom okay that's pretty funny i'm not gonna lie uh, cool looking 7 million sins bath. Unfortunately, because I've been AFKing all night, I can actually kind of just skip this area and move on into the next part. Oh, the boss summons will actually give you guys uh, the coins. I lied. Interesting. Okay, wait, wait. So if I go back to that right here right now and I try to get it, I think I have just enough Robux to get it. And if I don't, I'll get it just so you guys can see it. The spawner. Uh... Let's get this. Yeah, you guys are going to want to AFK this to get yourself the ice things right here to get more fragments to summon more bosses and then eventually buy the city key, two times damage potion, Lelouch cloak, cloak, wow, Lelouch or the Magna King Pass. So pretty cool how they have like some free stuff in the game for you guys to just try to AFK and whatnot. But let's summon this boss. I hope they can kill it because although I'm strong, I'm not like the strongest summon. Confirm. He has... 50 SX HP. I can kill this. It's just gonna take me a minute. Do I have a damage potion? I do. I have a damage potion. I have a three times energy. I'm gonna leave the two times energy alone just for a second here. And I'll probably. Yeah, I'll use two times gem. Why not? Yeah, let, let, we'll be right back. Hold on. Obviously, if you wanted to be smarter with this, you would have went to like that last world, gotten better pets, and then came to fight the boss, because you would have gotten more energy than I did, but I didn't want to do that. And we got ourselves, oh gosh, we got 20 coins from that? Yeah, that's going to take some time, but I'm going to go to Titan City here, because that's the area that I have unlocked. Now that I'm at Titan City, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just summon here for a while. Auto open for a few minutes. Look at that. We got the epic units already. I'm gonna fill up with epic units, but you can actually hatch like shiny units in the game as well. So, I don't know. I kind of don't want to like sell my epic units unless like I get a full team of shinies and whatnot. Because you guys see, I have a ton of gems to summon with. I think I was at like SX gems. So, I can keep summoning here for quite a while. Yeah, 17 SX, which actually isn't that much. I lied. It's definitely not that much because I... They, they all cost... Oh, they cost quadrillion. Never mind. I'm good. I can keep selling for a little bit. Hold on. Let me see if I can get that mythical summon right there. Honestly, I need to, I need to do more dungeons to unlock more summons because three at a time kind of sucks. But we got ourselves a few of the legendaries. So, let's go ahead and equip them right there. So, equip our desk right there. We got two shiny ethics. You guys see, that is why I did not want to actually delete them because you can actually make shiny versions and they're actually stronger than the Titan Ana character. Uh, hi. Uh, yeah, but you guys know there was like an area that we can actually make our units shiny, right? We saw it on the way here. Is it, it's not Hunter Island, but like, Hold on, hold on. It's it's one of these zones has like a make golden machine, right? Of course it was zone two. Talk to the shine machine here. Let me put Erwin here. Can I do two? Process failed, the pet was deleted. Uh two. Oh, I don't have any more of the stars. Okay, well, you can do that, but you're gonna wanna save more of the stars, so it's not really worth doing that. But, so you guys can see, the shiny errands are pretty worth it. Honestly, you guys don't even need to get the game pass for like extra storage, because at the end of the day, you're not gonna run out of storage the way that you think you are. Oh my gosh, I've got so many of these to delete. Holy smokes, all these Irwins are gone. Confirm, and that is our team right there. What we did now is we went back to the start to the Leaf City. We went ahead and changed our character. So literally now I'm the female Titan. And honestly, what I gotta do really quick before I rank up, because ranking up is going to be huge for me. But before I rank up, I need to go back and try to get a few more of the things like the auras right here. I need to get a few more of those. And in Ascension, I can actually evolve and I get a stat point. But uh, I'm not going to do that just quite yet. I got to keep ranking up. We defeated him. We got ourselves 20 of those. Now we're going to go back to this area. We're going to increase our aura level one more time to Tornadus. With Tornadus, we're actually green and we're looking pretty darn cool. But I think think it's finally time that I go work on my rank up. So go to my rank up, evolve, 
My Moltzfire is huge. And look at that. I need 900 trillion to keep evolving. The only thing is I lost all my damage. And then I've also lost all the gems that I had worked for all night. But hey, we can keep ranking up. And look at that. We're getting so much stronger so fast. I, I think, honestly, at this rate, in the next like 20, 30 minutes, I might be able to unlock the Nanak City. And then finally, the Online Island. So I'm going to try to do that really, really quickly here. And then we'll just check in and see where we are. The, uh, yeah, I don't know how to transition. So here's a transition where I zoom into her forehead. And now I transition from her forehead into the outside area. And look at this, guys. I can evolve. And that is the max level rank that you can get, which is King 3. Gives you a 17,700 multiplier. And that basically means I beat the game, right? Wrong. I got to get better grimoires so i gotta get myself the two dark grimoires i gotta keep doing navy dungeons i gotta get more achievements I, I, there's still so much more to do in this game but uh i have kind of caught up though which is really really exciting i'm probably gonna go ahead and afk open those grimoires real quick to get three times boost instead of the two times so then i can maybe unlock those last two zones over here in just a second I cannot make this up. I've been here for the last 10 minutes and all I've gotten is this Wind Grimoire. And then I'll have to leave that alone because I'm kind of tired of summoning on that Wind Grimoire banner right there. But guys, look at this. I am now at 72 quadrillion, which is literally as strong as I was. And we're in the Titan zone, right? I want to check out what the crafting actually does here. So craft, select the craft. Oh, you need coins? And then you need whatever those are in order to craft some of the best blades in the game. If so you guys go to your inventory, you go over here to your blades. And that's going to be Uzui Blade is 20. So, yeah, it's really not that amazing if you guys think about it. Protect the crystal. Oh, a wave defense that's going to give you guys those drops. Okay, so, yep, wave defense is really, really cool what they're doing with the game here. Now, oh my gosh, yeah, this is going to take quite some time before we can even destroy this insane titan ana oh man guys I, I i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get to that last world but but i can't stop i won't stop because uh well i, I really do kind of want to stop but i i won't stop for the sake of this video and me getting stronger and showcasing everything but yeah this got really grindy holy smokes all right i spent way over 10 minutes farming in this zone as you guys see my boost literally just ran out but i have 217 sx of the gems which means i can actually unlock nanlik city i can go here yay it's another dragon ball z world that's actually super duper exciting i'm not gonna lie there's a new dungeon here and well that looks like that's it there's just a new dungeon here that we gotta do so we could try that dungeon whenever Ray's on, but I want to check out the Auras machine. Can I get another Aura? No, 400 SX. No, okay. So what I'm going to do now that I got Nanak City unlocked, I, I want to see how much the egg is. The egg costs uh, 10 quintillion. Okay, we're going to turn auto delete off for a second here, and then we're going to go to our inventory. We're going to go ahead and use our boost. So this is going to give me three minutes of shiny units. Let's go ahead and auto open here. Try to get something insane. There it is. We got some epic units already. We want a whole team of the epic units here. We got three. I don't even know how many units I quit right now. Four. That Bardock unit's looking pretty cool. Not going to lie, that Xenoverse mythical guy. Yeah, I have no idea who he is, but we're summoning here. I want to see just how much stronger these units are going to be than the ones I already have because I, I, I just feel like progression here got extremely difficult and getting to that last world is going to be so, so tough to get to. But let's see, one more open we should be able to get. Oh, we got a Legendary Satan too. Nice. Okay, take a look at our units really, really fast. Equip best. 6,000, 10,500 for the Mr. Satan team. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. We're gonna keep doing this really quickly here. Get the best units that we can. Now we can actually auto delete our Bardocks because we don't need them. And just see what we get in the next two minutes of auto opening here. Oh, nice, the Satan. Wait, that sounds kind of bad. Oh, nice Satan. But there's another one. <laughs> well, I think my three minute boost is definitely gone by now. So let's take a look at our inventory here. So inventory, equip best pets. 
Oh yeah, we got a full team of the Saint. Well, I actually missed one Satan, but that's okay. We'll just keep the Bardock there for our best team. But look guys, we got a full team of shiny Satans and then of course the two shiny Bardocks there. Now of course I can kind of just delete everything else here because I don't need them since they're not in my team. Confirm. There we go. And we are making so much more money. I kind of want to open one of these just to see how good they are. Uh, yeah, I'll do it just so you guys don't have to do this, but what did I get? Oh, yeah, we got an epic Chiaotzu. How strong is he? Oh my gosh, please do not do that guys. It's not worth it. Oh Man, yeah, don't get those stars. It's it's really not worth it. These guys have SP health I don't think it's possible for me to unlock that last zone without totally AFKing all night today guys So I think that's where I end the video I basically beat the entire game in the span of 24 hours of course I'm gonna be a little gonna have to AFK even more, but yeah, Chiatsu is basically barely stronger than Bardock. And if we look at Mr. Popo, Mr. Popo is 7,800 and then Android is 15,000. So they're decent, they're strong, but uh, it's not worth the 200 gold bucks. There's the Mr. Satan right there. We got him equipped. We're super duper OP getting so much. We can't even rank up anymore, so that's good to know. And then we're really just gonna have to look through everything that we gotta do here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. Oh my gosh, and Satan looks kinda cool. Turn notifications on, and I'll see you guys later. Alright, Reese's Thesis. Bye!